government officials, distinguished guests, uh, representatives of uh, the media, farmers and farmer groups, ladies and gentlemen. Isambulunaka, Namaste, Salam Alikum, Oya and Mauri. A very good morning to, to you all. It is indeed with great pleasure that I present to you the first Wagyu beef breed offspring born here in Fiji through embryo transfer technology. It marks a milestone in our Fijian agriculture calendar, especially with the introduction of another premium breed, the Fijian cattle herd, so as to improve of beef herd genetics. Ladies and gentlemen, the best news received after my appointment Minister for Agriculture and Waterways was the birth of the first Wagyu calf at 7 a.m. 29th December 22nd for Nivea Livestock Research Facility. The introduction of this most expensive and premium Wagyu beef breed has opened up a world of opportunities for our livestock industry, which is anticipated to address local market gaps. Let me share with you what I can still recall during my days as Deputy Permanent Secretary of the Ministry of Agriculture in 2018, when I was tasked to lead the Ministry of Agriculture delegation to the 2018 Beef Week in Rockhampton, Australia. I'm thankful to Simon for being a very good host uh, when we were in Rockhampton in 2018. This is a world-renowned event. The outcome of the discussion held at this event was to have the Ministry of Agriculture develop and adopt quality beef breeds in Fiji, with a view of addressing market shortages and reducing the food import bill. Following discussions in 2018, the AHNP delegation members to the 2018 Beef Week, uh, Avinash Dayal, Ronil Prasad and Ulai Vangilevu, with the consultant Mr. Simon Walton, capitalized on that knowledge-sharing platform and continued to work tirelessly and smartly in ensuring that the Wagyu Beef Breed Project was on schedule as was initially planned. This is a breakthrough for the agriculture sector in Fiji in terms of having premium beef cuts available to consumers, particularly to the tourism sector. Ladies and gentlemen, over the years, the total value of agriculture export increased from 68.8 million in 2017 to 121.3 million in 2021, indicating an average growth rate of 41.7%. PG imported around 11.2 million of beef in 2021 and is largely reliant on beef imports for consumption. Fiji also relies on imported milk, rice, sheep, meat, potatoes for our daily nutritional needs. Based on uh, our findings, the tourism sector usually receives a mix of local and imported beef in the tourism market. This has raised the need for more beef to, import, to be imported to Fiji, consequently providing Fiji with an opportunity to review current beef stock available to meet local demand. Ladies and gentlemen, embryo transfer technology and carefully selected was carefully selected by the Ministry of Agriculture in an effort to maintain quality cattle genetics 
while at the same time control and manage ovine diseases affecting Fiji's cattle industry. Let me digress uh, a little bit from here. I remember when we were trying to to break through to try and convince the ministry in getting uh, embryo transfer uh, in in uh, getting embryo transfer across. Okay? It was a very difficult uh, task trying to convince uh, the powers that be at that time. Because we were so used to uh, AI and uh, all the, the the old methods that that we we employed in uh, breeding. Okay. So when we started talking about embryo transfer, so we heard things like, "Oh, on AI, the success rate is what?" percent or 25 percent I can't remember the exact thing now you're talking about embryo transfer but we have uh, RV here we we kept on uh, pressing management at the time look we got to give it a go okay? I think the rest is history uh, what we are going to see today, the uh, end result of some uh, some really hard convincing that we had to do dur during those years. Okay? Importation of live cattle poses a very high risk of disease transmission, consequently allowing embryo importation to be the best quality technique used by the ministry to move the cattle industry forward, especially when adopting high-performing cattle breeds. Embryo transfer is therefore found to be the best way forward to address cattle genetics and its related diseases. But uh, this statement is arguable. Apart from uh, St. Paul and Brown Swiss, the Ministry of Agriculture is now on its way to rear and develop two additional prime quality breeds in Fiji through embryo transfer technology. Wagyu calving has started in Cornivia and drought master calving to follow up at Singatoka research station by the mid of this month. Successful co completion of embryo transfer for Sanapol and Brown Swiss breed the Wagyu and Drought Master beef breed embryos were implanted into our local recipients, surrogate mothers on livestock government stations. The local recipients carried the embryo for a full term of nine months till coming on 29th December 2022. To date, I am pleased to announce that we have four Wagyu calves on the ground and more is expected by the end of this month. The first stage of uh, embryo development work actually happened in Australia uh, by harvesting, fertilization and uh, cryo preservation of uh, embryos was done in the lab before it was brought over to Fiji in line with full biosecurity requirements. We're thankful to Australian Reproductive Technology, ART, and its director, Mr. Simon Walt Walton, who has been working very closely with the Ministry of Agriculture staff to develop the much-needed prime quality beef breeds in Fiji, and apart from introduction of Senapol and Brown Swiss breed, Wagyu and Rat Master breed will add more quality beef genetics in our nucleus elite stock. These premium breeds have been carefully selected for its good performance, particularly in adapting, in, in, in adapting to heat stress, growth and development, reproduction and meat quality. 
street performances in Fiji will be further monitored and evaluated on government research stations before the genetics are passed to farmers for rearing and multiplication. This note, can we please give a hand to uh, Mr. Simon Walker and ART for a job well done. Eh? Thank you very much, Simon. Ladies and gentlemen, the quality of Wagyu beef meets the standards required by hotel guests. It ensures the taste, texture, and cuts of beef are of superior quality and has excellent marbling characteristics which add quality flavor to taste in either steak, barbecue, or cooked with anything. I feel like eating this thing, right? Majority of our local hotels currently serve beef cuisines from imported beef products. However, these breeds will add quality meat, meat products to the tourism sector as well. Wagyu breed actually originates from Japan, and its meat product is very expensive, delicious, and has become a popular cuisine in many countries. Now that we have this breed in Fiji, more research and development work will be conducted to establish this, this breed and expand the genetic base. Let me say that as your minister, over the next four years, I will want this project to be strengthened even further. The ministry has so far developed the elite nucleus herd for Senapol and Brown Swiss on government stations, which are intended to be disseminated on farms. Now that we have successfully began carving of Wagyu breed on our station, nucleus herd will be further developed to allow dissemination of the genetics to farmers through artificial insemination and sales of breeder bulls eventually. Government through the uh, Ministry of Agriculture has invested in the beef sector through stockyard support, embryo transfer technology, provision of fencing, ki fencing kit support, readables, supplementation nutrition, staff and farmer training infrastructure development, and the improvement of our breeding center. The Ministry of Agriculture has further developed a cattle breeding center at the Singatoka Research Station so that the genetics of these quality breeds are readily available to farmers either in the form of semen straws or artificial insemination, embryos for transfers, and few breeding bulls for natural mating on selected well-developed and disease-free farms. With the ongoing embryo transfer program, Ministry of Agriculture staff are trained in the standard operating procedures of the relevant processes and techniques to ensure a continuity of the techniques in future. Our staff are professionally trained with the ET processes and will continue to train more of our staff to build the capacity and expertise in livestock biotechnology. Ladies and gentlemen, to conclude, I would like to assure you that the Ministry will continue investing in growing and producing certain premium beef locally to cut back on our food import bill. We must capitalize on improving Wagyu and Drought Master Bridge to improve local beef supplies to the tourism, tourism industry. On this note, I would like to take the opportunity to acknowledge the hard-working team from the Ministry of Agriculture's Animal Health and Production Division for successfully introducing this remarkable Wagyu premium beef breed. I hope that we will continue to push further in developing these bridges 
so that pigeons have access to safe food with improved quality and ensure income security and livelihoods for our farmers now and into the future. Thank you, Pinagwa Levu and Danibad. Thank you.